Hey, welcome back to Shell's Corner. Got my wine. I'm gonna tell you a story while I wait for my lobster tails to get done. Alright, so I'm at the movies with my husband. We come out, we see my brother car. Now I know it's my brother car because he got this Chevy that he loved today. He called the damn thing Nicki Minaj, whatever. So we leave a real racist note on his car. We wait a couple minutes to see if he come out. He don't come out, so we go home. We chilling, whatever. The next day he called me. He like, hey, somebody left um a real messed up note on my car or whatever. And he said he was out there acting the fool trying to figure out who did it. So we laughing. We finally tell him, like, hey, we put the note on your car. He like, oh, y'all some assholes for that. All right, so he didn't let time go by. We ain't thinking about it no more. So he get a new phone number. I get a text message out of the blue. My husband's at work. He's working overnight. I'm staying the night at my mom's house. All of a sudden, I get a text from some girl. I don't know. She said her name was whatever. We just going to call her Jasmine. So Jasmine going to text me and say, hey, you don't know me, but me and your husband have been messing around for like two years. We got a one-year-old daughter together. Now, I got a two-year-old son at this point. And for him to have cheat on me with a, and have a daughter and knowing that, we, you know, we want to have a daughter. So that hurt me to my heart. So I'm upset. So I'm texting him. And I'm like, um, some girl just texted me, talk about she got your baby, and she wanted, um, she wanted her daughter to know our son, and blase, blase, and so on and so forth. And I'm like, who's this girl? So he texted me back. He like, I don't know who this girl is, but she texted me too. She texting you too? Yeah, and, you, and he talk about, oh, it gotta be somebody we know. It gotta be somebody we know. I'm like, ain't nobody playing on our phone like that. Like, nah. Who you been messing with? I'm about to come up there. I'm about to tear that place up. And I'm about to tear you up. And I'm going to jail. I don't care. I'm going to jail. So, at the time, we only had one car. So, he got the car. I'm stuck in my mom's house. I'm asking my mom. I'm like, can I use your car? Because this nigga got me fucked up, okay? Because I'm about to go up there. I'm about to mess with my... She like, no, I'm not about to let you go up there and make this man lose his job. Think I care about that job? If he and that bitch think that he got to be taking care of some baby with the job that uh he done had since we've been married. Nah, ain't mm -mm, not about to happen. Nope. Mm -mm. So, meantime, he trying to convince me that he ain't been cheating. The girl texting me, telling me all types of stuff. She know what my house look like. She been in my car, all types of stuff. So, I'm like, all right. So, my brother just so happened the call and i'm telling him what's going on i'm like yo give me a ride give me a ride give me a ride like i really need to um get up here because i'm about to hurt this boy like i don't know who he think he playing with my brother like nah nah don't do that don't make that boy lose his job i'm like nah give me a ride so he don't want to give me a ride my mom don't want to give me a ride so i'm pacing back and forth oh, i'm mad like fuck that i'm going up there I'm about to steal my mom car. I'm about to steal my mom car. He asking his manager, can he leave? Like he likes it's about to go down. He gotta go. He texting me trying to convince me. I'm not trying to hear it. He go outside and call me. I'm nope, nope. I'm fucking you up. When I see you, I'm I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't worry about it. You about to lose a job. I'm going to jail. My mom gonna have this baby. While I'm in jail. All right. So boom. My brother called me back. He like um don't go up there. I text you. I'm like, what you mean you text me? He like, I just got a new phone number. That's what y'all get for putting notes on my car. Like, really? You about to have me go up there and get this boy fired, act the dang fool, and go to jail for what? Because you want to play? But he right. I left that note on his car. He was out there acting the fool. He could have went to jail. I wasn't thinking, but he didn't have to get me back like that. Moral of the story, trust your nigga. If you want to hear his side of the story, click the link below or follow at Genocide the Animal on IG.